Hello, guys and gals. Hope everything is going well for you. Welcome back to the Guren today on Ark for another Taming Pen video. <laughs> and besides Taming Pen video, underwater. Yeah, I always wanted to do a Taming Pen video. Underwater, and on this case, I want uh, I will do for what should I tell you for big sized creatures, <laughs> big underwater sized creatures, not megalodons, not bazillers, not. Dolphins, not, not anything else besides big size ones. <laughs> I'll do this for me to tame a mosasaur, or try to tame a mosasaur with a taming pen. That I'll, <laughs> I'll explain. But this could be used for plesias and maybe giant squids. I'm here with my little buddy Basil. Not buddy, I think. It's a gal. It's a gal! My little gal Basilosaurus. I have already brought. This is far from my. my beach base. I brought some some materials and I already started making some tests here. I'm watching this. This okay. Bear with me, because this is a painful thing. But you, at this step, starts taking damage, so. Bear, bear with me, please. The first thing I... Ooh, already made the mistake here. I hope I have... I may not have, but... Okay. My idea here is... Make a seven by seven, if possible. Seven by seven um, pen. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Come on. Six, seven. Well, with this, I didn't found where. Well, I want to build here. I didn't found any spot that has this. Maybe here? No. I don't know. Found a more level place, so. I have to make some. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah. Hope this is large enough. I hope this works. I really, really hope this works. So, I think I brought already Sorry about this. Poker. Yeah. Oh. Fence foundations. I don't have any fence foundations with me. I have the behemoth, so let me let me do the all the tree. Come on, fence foundation. 
Okay. What? The Mehivant? Okay, I hope this works. Because I have... Yeah, you may see that. I mean, if this doesn't work... It might work. It might! Unbelievable and amazing. I think this guy should snap. Why you won't snap to this? It should. It should snap. To that fence. Do I need more fences? Or do. Okay, that's it. thing is this why am I and I need to put the I need to put the foundations because we have to block them we have to make some ceilings here Otherwise, the Plesio Mozo, what is it? It's like taming a flyer. <laughs> have to put ceilings on it. I don't know if I'll. If I already did. No, I made it right. Unbelievable and amazing. So. Yeah. I don't know if this will work because I have different levels. And I may have to, <laughs> to get <laughs> more pillars. foundations and not other not fences because we have yeah we have to do a ceiling not a complete one because the, the creatures that we we come on stop 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 let me let me because the creatures we want to tame here Large Mosasaurus, Plesiosaurus. Oh, really? I thought I had some ceilings. Spare ceilings here. Well, 
Well, I'll bring you guys back in a couple of seconds. Let me just keep building here, okay? And um, I'll show. I'll show you guys what's my. <laughs> what is my idea here? Okay, bring you guys right back. BRBs. So. Okay. Sorry. What I need, I want to do more. Is it the last touchdown? I hope. This. From the size of the, the Plesio and the Moza, this will. Be, this will may be a little bit. No, or not? I don't know. I think not. But the thing is here: you have the the behemoth. Use a behemoth. Always use a behemoth because bigger creatures don't place on dinosaur gates. So you bring you kites the creature here if you are using um, when I tame Plesius and the um, Moses on the center the center map uh, the previous server that I the server that I previously played or, or the same server, but the previous map I played was on the center. We I used the the, um, the dolphins, and if you are using a dolphin, you kite, please your mouse here, and on if you do this ceilings like uh, the ceiling like this do ceilings all around the, um, the pan and if you're using uh, seven wide uh, foundations um, you can put two ceilings inside each other pillar right and you let this space because with a dolphin you can pass here so you kite the, the creature in and you can pass on this on this space here with a dolphin because normally I I use the dolphin because it's fast and yeah I normally kite the, the please or whatnot near the the pen with the megalodon because can handle more damage can handle, can have more life. And then what I did was go to the base, switch to, <laughs> to a dolphin, come out, and guide them here in the, the pen. So you can go there. If you are using a megalodon to cut him in, or a moza, you're not able to pass or a please or a basil like I'm have here you are unable to pass here on this space on the ceiling so I don't know with the megalodon but, but I think it works too if you let a space on the pillars like this you are able to pass with a basil and if I'm not wrong with the, with the megalodon Eh? That's that that's nice. I think. So let Oh yeah. And that's because of this ceilings that's why I used uh, 
foundations and not fins. Fins foundations like I normally <laughs> use on almost all the pens. And um, I used. Uh, ah, you made it. Ah, could, hmm. Thinking this a little bit more, I may be able. We may be able to do this without any foundation, only with pillars. Because hmm. I use the foundations to give support to the ceilings. Like um, like my taming pen for Argent Ivis. Um, I use all only used uh, foundations. But if I put the pillars and if they snap to each other, I'm able to put the ceilings without the foundations. Why? I lost my pens. So, so much resources. Doesn't matter. But you may be able to do this without the foundations. Because the ceilings do the same thing. You can put two ceilings here. If you're using a larger, uh, with more width than seven, uh, you may be able to have to use the, se the the foundations to because they will not be two only two here it will be a little bit more yeah so let's come here and normally we norm I normally see some Moses here, but mm, sorry about. Give me a couple of seconds. I'll bring you guys back. BRBs. Okay. I kind of found one. And the. And the drop. And the megalodon. So let's let's try the taming pen. I hope this works. I hope. I really hope. Let's say this, if the timing pad was one or two, <laughs> foundations longer, we didn't got this issue, I think. So, um, yeah. Let's. I, I won't. I won't. <laughs> I won't spend my arrows. 
on taming this guy, I think. Um, so, yeah. Wrapping this up, yeah. A please, you, yeah, could fit inside there. No issue. Buried me with the pain of listening to to Basilo damaging itself. But if a please, a please you can easily uh, fit in there. But for a Moza, yeah. I did seven, seven, wait, seven. Seven with and seven large. Um, I have that difference on the, um, the foundations. I put like six on one side, seven on the other on the lower foundations um, but yeah six seven is enough height to fit um, a moza here um, yeah if you are for to tame um, to tame a giant squid I don't know you may need to put wider and longer the, the cage I, I don't know I never tried it yeah oh I hope you guys like this video and um, I hope it helped you on your Adventures underwater. So yeah, come on, man. I didn't, I didn't do anything to you. So if you like this video, at any point, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it and helps me a lot. If you new and or haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and for more tutorials on arc click that bell button for notifications when i release a new one have a good rest of the day and see you on the next one bye say bye say bye basilo bye bye <laughs> see you guys <laughs>